Hello and welcome to Tabletop 24 and thank you for joining us for another unboxing. Today we have Cantaloupe from Lookout Games. This is a point and click adventure game on your tabletop. But before we get into the main game, what I wanted to draw people's attention to was a print and play prequel. So if you want to see and check this out for yourself, you can do. Um, I have printed um, my copy last night before getting this just to see what everything's like. So and it's a really nice print and play copy. So first off, spoilers for anybody that's going to go through this because we are going to have a quick look on some of the pages and stuff. Um, obviously, with the point and click eventually, you're only going to go to them at a certain point, but um, there may well be bits here that we need to know about. So there are no rule book. Everything is straight in the in the book. This prequel is fairly straightforward. As you can see, there's hidden text here. Um, the PDF on Lookout Games website, and I'll drop the link below, it does have a hidden text version or just a straight text version, depending on how you want to do. And obviously they do warn that this is ink heavy uh, should you want to print it. Obviously you can print black and white, but then you don't get all these lovely colors that they have provided. So we've got different conversations in here. And like I say, this is the prequel before the main adventure. Um, we do have a map of the ship that you're on for the prequel. And we do have our item cards. So, like I say, these are the print and play version. There are 24 cards. It is only designed to be about an hour long, but I thought it's a really good quality print and play that if you want to try out and want to get a bit of a taste before you dive right in. So, I think book one is out now. Book two is already available, and I think book three is going to be coming soon. So, breaking into a prison. So, let's get straight in there and have a look at this main game. As I say, spoilers abound. You have been warned. So we're going to go straight into this. And should we see something we shouldn't? Uh, I think at this point, it's a bit tough. So hook our main character. Then we have got our item cards. Really nice together. Some items in the pouch. So we have got a map of Cantaloupe Island with a... Uh, Nice, it's actually a postcard. Then you've got the grid, which will be marking off certain items. So not only will you be going point and click with some of the cards that you'll be collecting, you will also be marking off items so that at certain points during the text, it will say, if you have A1, then do this. If not, do this. Or if you have A1 and A6, do this. So that's really quite nice there. And we have an inventory of um, codes. So you'll be looking up some of these. Some of these will just be red herrings. Some of them will be trash talking um, just because the designers know that you're going to go and try and pair up cards with other cards just for the sake of it to try and see like brute force solve it. But apparently, they, they're aware of that, so they know. Okay, then we've got a backing card just to protect everything. And then the rules, how that works. It's a bit unfortunate of a doggy page, but hey, hey. Um, so how the game will work, what will trigger, where you can find codes, and we are straight in to the, the dialogue. So we've got prologue continued, and then each of these with the numbers is a location, and I believe there's 20 locations in, in all, so we'll just go through that. Yep, 20 locations in all. Then we have got dialogue scene options where there's some dialogue going on between players, um between, between characters and then you've got different help sections that you'll go through okay then that is our unboxing of cantaloupe book one breaking into a prison and also a quick look at cantaloupe the prequel which is a print and play highly recommend checking out the, the print and play it is going to be color heavy if you've got a color printer so bear that in mind this was printed on a laser printer so it's done at fairly low cost but just be a bear that in mind all right thank you for joining us for this unboxing if you haven't done so already check out our other videos on the channel and we'll catch you next time take care